and he's eternal with all his perfect names and attributes. Yeah. Yeah. So he is the first without a beginning, mm. the last without an end. Yeah. He is always the all Almighty, yeah, the yeah, All-Powerful. He's always the All-Knowing. And he, everything, all of the creation has been created by him and all of the creation is in need of him. Yeah. This is why we say very clearly that all the messengers and the foundation of all, the message of all the messengers, including the last messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah. is to worship one God alone, to worship Allah alone yeah. and don't make any partners with him. At all, yeah. So when you say that he became his creation or he came into this earth and then he died for us, yeah. We're saying that this is not God. This yeah. can never possibly okay, be God. But you know in the Bible, it was he, predest he predestined us to be this way. Like, uh -huh. he, so like in the Bible, uh, he was... Do you, do you believe God is eternal? No, definitely, of course. That's the whole, that's do you, why I believe. do you believe God can die? He can die as man, not as God. That's why I say he became man. Okay, do you believe that? Okay, but the Bible clearly teaches okay. that God is not a man. Yeah, but in, the, in John chapter 1 verse 1, it says, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word, and the, the, the word, in the beginning was the word, the, the word, word was, was with God, God and, the and the word, word was God. God, and then later on the, the yeah, word the, became flesh. Yes, yeah, so, 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 so how do you define uh, that? Okay. If, 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 so, so yeah, define that now. Okay. Yeah. Because we've got three things going on now. No, no, no. We, no we've no, got John, no, John 1, 1. Yeah. We've got the salvation, yeah. and we've got the the issue of Jesus of, of God becoming His creation. No, 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 no. That one is, okay. is tied to John. Is as, John 1. as for John one one, yeah. as as I said earlier, but I didn't elaborate. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We believe Jesus was given revelation. Okay. As for the letters of Paul, you know the letters of Paul were written before the Gospels. Okay. There's 13 letters attributed to Paul. Uh, biblical scholars agree upon seven of them are from Paul. They disagree on six. Okay. They say, some of them say they're written by students of Paul or other than Paul yeah. in Paul's name yeah. to give it some kind of authority. As for the Gospels, Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, yeah, yeah. these books themselves, when you read them, they do not inform who wrote them. Okay, they don't tell us who wrote them. No, no, John, John states. States. Can you show me where it says that John wrote this? So um, I know in one of the chapters it talked about like um, I it talked about he he being the beloved of Jesus because uh -huh. I think it, it doesn't actually say that. Yeah, no, no, it, it's like, I'm sure, but, yeah. but I don't know the. No, this, 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 just just bear yeah, it in no, mind. Sure, yeah, just bear sure. it in mind. If you look at, for example, Luke, the beginning of it, and none of them say, none of the four gospels say that I was inspired by God to write this. I'll give my reasons. No, 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 no book of the Bible says that. Uh, Timothy mentions this, that all, all scripture is inspired by God. But this is written before, but this is referring to the Old Testament, yeah. And it is written before the Gospel. Yeah. So yeah. if you read Luke in the beginning, all this is paraphrased, but you yeah, can go sure. back over what I've said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Luke, in chapter 1, Luke meant, oh, the, the, the author of the, the Gospel according to Luke. But we don't know if Luke wrote it. This is what the church said afterwards. The first person to say this in writing was Irenaeus, who wrote a hundred years after the Gospels were written. He's the first person from the church fathers to write down that Matthew wrote this, Mark wrote this, Mark the uh, secretary of Peter, Matthew the disciple, John is the beloved disciple, he wrote this, and Luke the traveling ca companion of Paul. This wasn't written in, in Christian history until a hundred years after the Gospels were written. Yeah. But Luke, he mentions yeah. that many people, they wrote about the life of Jesus from eyewitnesses and from people who took from eyewitnesses. And I thought it was good to write as well yeah. a, an ordered account. This is very paraphrased. So Luke is telling you that many people were writing Gospels about the life of Jesus they were oral traditions and they decided to write them down. The life of Jesus, the statements of Jesus. And Luke said, I felt that I should write something as well. But he's not, this is the perfect opportunity to say that I was inspired by the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit came to me and told me what yeah. to write. But, but he didn't say this. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to the Gospels, we have certain problems. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. There's one problem called the synoptic problem. Synoptic problem is, why is Mark, Matthew, Luke so similar? The stories are pretty much the same. There's places where you can see 
nearly all of the words, word for word, it's the same. Yeah, bear, bear in mind that yeah. scholars say that Jesus spoke Aramaic, but the Gospels are written in Greek. So these people are, what is concluded by biblical scholars yeah. is that Matthew and Luke, they had a copy of Mark in front of them. Okay. And they were writing from Mark, in some places they copied, some places they added, some places they amended. So the authors of uh, Matthew and Luke, who, who copied from Mark, yeah, yeah. they didn't believe that Mark was inspired word of God. Otherwise they would have never copied it and changed it. Okay. But then when we come to John, this, this was the point of John 1, 1. John, the Gospel according to John was the last Gospel written. But when you look at the Gospel of John, it mentions things that none of the previous Gospels mentioned. And such important things, like that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. You know yourself, if a Christian is going to get a t-shirt or a poster or a, a sticker, this is what they're going to mention, John 3.16, that God so loved the world is that He gave His only begotten Son. This statement is so uh, fundamental to Christianity. But the, the author of Mark, Matthew, Luke, either they never heard it, or they heard it and they never wrote it. All of the I am statements, I am the way, I am the light, I am the truth, no one will get to the Father except for me. Before Abraham I am, I am the bread of life. All of these statements, powerful statements, yeah. none of them are in the, the early three, three Gospels. Yeah, so that, that'd be correct. Um, in one of the synoptics here, yeah, one accounted for, of, accounted for what Jesus did, yeah? Yeah. like in terms of like his miracles and stuff like that. Yeah. Then the other account of the synoptic, which is John, accounted for like, he went back to the beginning, which was before creation, because like he said, in the beginning was the world, yeah. the world was the God, and that was before God created the heavens and the earth. Uh -huh. so, like, so John, his own, his own view Hello. of of the account of Jesus went back, back in time. So it wasn't just about in terms of um, the life of Jesus. He went beyond that. He went beyond just what Jesus did on the day to day basis. But like Mark, Matthew and... But no. do you understand the problem here? No, I'll, if, I'll if, 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 you have, if you have such fundamental teachings of Christianity, yeah. such as you mentioned the pre-existence, yeah. you know in the, the first gospel written, the gospel according to Mark... No, Matthew. Matthew, uh, no, Matthew is placed first. But scholars will say Mark is written first. No, but in the Bible it's Mark. Yes, yeah, Matthew first, but Mark is written first. You can look it up, but in Mark, Jesus, the first hearing that we have that he became the Son of God is when John the Baptist comes out of the wilderness and he baptizes for uh, the remittance of sin, for repentance and the remittance of sin. Let me, let me finish, let me finish. And then he baptizes Jesus for repentance and forgiveness of sin. That's what he baptized Jesus for, according to the Gospel of Mark. And then the voice is heard from the heaven, the, the dove comes and it says, and it informs in, fir, in second person that this day, or you, you are my son. And do you guys believe in that also? No, I, I, I'll, come to, I'll come to it. Here, but the point being that, according to the Gospel of Mark, it's at this point, when Jesus is around 30, when he's baptized, that he's informed that you are the Son of God. Okay. When you go to Matthew and Luke, Jesus is made the Son of God at the virgin, virgin birth. Before that, he's not considered the Son of God. No, 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 I think that, 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 that's... Uh, read, read, read Luke, read no, 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 Luke. That's yeah. So basically... So what, what is, let me, let me just finish. Okay, let me just, okay, but according to John, the last one written, Jesus is a pre-existent being that has always been the Son of God. You can see that there's a difference. What, what, ha what happens, like, like, what happens is, you've got four Gospels, written by four different people, and they were not aware that these are going to be canonized in one book. But you have uh, Christians who have come later, or the church who has come later, and you, they've taken four Gospels and they put them together and they made, they made a fifth Gospel. Christians, they don't realize, they have a belief based on all, all four Gospels mixed together. But they don't have a belief based on one Gospel. So the thing is, according to, according to John, Jesus is a pre-existent being but not according to Mark, not according to Matthew, not according to Luke. Yeah, so like I said, uh -huh. the four synoptics, he took different views of looking at Jesus. So for the Matthew that uh, when John baptized him, yeah, yeah. that was just to acknowledge him to the whole world. 
Yes, because it, it, it's, when, when uh, in the corner to the Gospel of God to Matthew, the voice from heaven says, this is my son. Yeah. It's third person, it's informing other people. Yeah. But according to, to Mark, it's saying that you are my son. It's second person, Jesus is being informed. There's a change. Yeah, but, but that so, one, the, was it, was so the talking. author of Matthew has read Mark and has changed it. No, 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 definitely. Like, ah. Of course, like, um, I think it was in Luke where we talked about like how Jesus came to, came to the world in terms of like, uh, the angel visited his mother. Yes, yes, yes. It was in Luke, yeah. So there you knew that there, there you can see that obviously. And that's when the, that's when that's when Mary is informed yeah. that you're going to have a son yeah. who's going to be the son of God. Yeah. So my point is in the the four gospels, what you believe as a Christian is one thing, but I'm saying the four gospels teaches in Mark, Jesus was declared the Son of God at the baptism. According to Luke, no, no, wasn't what what acknowledged the whole world, not no, to according to Mark. According to, according to what Mark's written, just take what no, Mark's Mark written, Mark. not, not your Christian belief. No, 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 definitely not. Yeah. What Mark has written, read Mark, yeah, read Mark, read Mark and put aside what Matthew, Luke and John have said. And you will see th the first time we hear about Jesus is when he's baptized and he's informed that he's the son of God, that time. That's what you would believe if you only had Mark. And that's why we don't have, that's why we, yeah. don't, we don't just have Mark, we have the whole Bible yeah. together. And so, we look at, uh, we, so definitely like, whatever we do, we look at the whole Bible together. We don't just uh, look at uh -huh. one chapter and, and like put our faith in just one chapter. We look at the whole Bible as a collection. You, you can do that, you can do that. If the, all the books were written uh, with knowledge of each other or so, written so, by so, the same so are author. You that, um, Mohammed has you, has you, um, has seen the, all the dimensions of God that was able to just, was, was just him that was able to write the Quran. Is that what you're saying? Sorry, I repeat the question. Sorry. Are you saying that uh, Mohammed yeah, yeah. Was, has seen like all the dimensions of God that he was, was able to, was, was able to be the single author of the Quran? Okay. That he did not need help in terms, like, no, no that person had the kind of like dimension or um, what's, what's the word I use for this? Um, Basically, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he only taught what was revealed to him. He is a human being. Definitely, yeah. The human being is not all-knowing, and none can comprehend the, the reality yeah, of God. God yeah. But what was revealed to him, he passed on. Yeah. None of his teachings were for himself. But let me just come back to uh, uh, very quickly. So when it comes to John 1.1, 1, 1, we are saying that this is something which we don't know who wrote it. And we don't know the source of it. And this idea, look, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. This is not a concept which you find in the Old Testament. No, it is in Genesis. The Bible says, let us make man. Who are the us? Your God is talking to you. Okay, okay. Even this, but this no, 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 this, no, no, this, answer, this, answer, this, answer this, this, no, no, this concept, yeah. this concept, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, yeah. and the Word became flesh. Yeah. Where do you find this concept in the Old Testament? Like I said in the beginning, when he said God created the heavens and the earth, yeah. and I said, let us make man. Oh, so the us there means that they are more than one person. No. So, so, what, so what mean of the us? So okay. us means a single person. In one. Hebrew, in Arabic, in Aramaic, you can have a we of, of might, of honor. Of course, definitely, but like if you check other... So, so, when, so when in the Old Testament, when, when God says, I am the only God, yeah. I'm the first and the last, and there's none beside me, yeah. is this plural or singular? Look, like I said, the us, like I said, I, like I said in the beginning, yeah. God, God operates in three dimensions. Uh -huh. We have God the Father, which is of course, which is the like the eternal God that we all know. Uh -huh. Then God the Son is God coming in the flesh, which is Jesus. Uh -huh. Then God the Spirit is the, the one that like like God we were created in God's image. Uh -huh. So definitely like God. Uh, who's who's God. image? Are we created in the Father's image? Of course, God. The, the Son's image. So of course, God. Or the Holy Spirit's image. By, by God, definitely, is, is God the eternal of God's image. No, no. When you say we're created in God's image, yeah. Which image? The image of the Father? No, God. The image of the Son? By God. By or the God image of the Holy the Spirit? Father, they're not like God. It's God the Father I'm talking about. Yeah. So we're created in the image of the Father? Yeah, definitely. Not the Son? 
Like I said, the sun is... Because the you sun. said us. Let yeah, us create, let, let us create man in our image. Yeah, and I, and I said all of those. And so I said are, we, are, we are, are we created in all three images? No, I, no that's, that's what I said. Then why would you say this is plural? Because, like I said, I took... Let us create man in, let us create man in our image. Yeah, but, uh, but the other day is the Trinity, which is three, which is three people in one. That, that, that's why I said that they're all... Uh -huh. Like encompassing the world. Uh -huh. yeah. See, 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 the problem here. Obviously, okay, we're, we're, talk, we're, we're talking about a lot of issues. Yeah, what happens is, if a person they read the the New Testament, or they're they're brought up as a Christian, they study Christianity, their community, their society, and they have Christian beliefs. Yeah. Then these people, when they go back to the Old Testament, yeah. they will read things into the Old Testament to support their preconceived no, beliefs. But, but the Old Testament was dead but before the New Testament. Do, so. do, you, do you think that Moses, when it said, let us create God in our image, if Moses was aware of this, if Abraham was aware of this, if Noah was uh, aware of this, do you think they understood this to mean a triune God? Of course, like I said, God reveals, reveals himself in dimensions, so maybe definitely... No, but do you think Moses understood it this way? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do because, like, like I said, he reveals to us the dimension. It doesn't reveal did, to did, did Abraham understood it this way? Not, but what was mostly I wrote the book of Genesis, not Abraham. So I don't know anything about Abraham because uh -huh. what was mostly I wrote the book. Yeah, but the thing is, do you think that Abraham would have understood it that way? Do you think Moses mm -hmm. understood it that way? That this must be a triune God? No, definitely, I wouldn't do that. See, my, my point is, yeah, if someone who believes in the Trinity, they read things to support the Trinity which the people who had the book, or wrote the book, or studied the book and taught the book, never understood. Yeah, but, but that's, you know, you know there are instances like, uh, you know the prophet Isaiah, yeah? yeah? You know there are times that he said it about the future, which he himself did not know what he was talking about. Uh, for example? Um, where he talked about how um, Jesus would come and kind of like, um, that a virgin will give birth. No, 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 not with that one. Okay, that one is also there. But in terms of, um, but that's not there anyway. He talked about how he just would come to the temple and scatter, um, scatter like, he scattered the temple in terms of where people were selling and making trade in, in uh -huh. the house of God. He spoke, about, he spoke about that, yeah, but at the time he didn't know what he was talking okay. about. He was speaking by the spirit. Okay. I'm asking you a question. Yeah, no, definitely. No, go, yeah. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. The, the authors of the New Testament studied the Old Testament. Let, let, me, let me finish, let me finish. And they wrote the life of Jesus to fulfill prophecies of the Old Testament. I'm going to give you an example. We've still got a few uh, points on the plate. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to give you... Uh, but I have, I have to like, meet up with somebody. Okay. Let me, let me just very quickly round up some of the things you said. <laughs> Salvation. Salvation, we believe, is having the correct belief and performing righteous deeds. But the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he clearly said in an authentic narration in Bukhari and Muslim, two books of uh, Hadith, two books of the Sunnah, he said, none of you will enter paradise by your good deeds. So the companions were surprised. Because he's the messenger of Allah, he's the most righteous person. And, and, and what makes you think he did not get that from Jesus? Because let Jesus let me that. finish, let me finish, let me finish. He said, none of you will enter paradise by your righteous deeds. And they said, even you, O messenger of Allah, they were surprised and they asked. He said, no, unless Allah covers me in his mercy. So we believe that a person has to have the correct belief. This is the most important thing, to worship one God without any partners and accept his messengers and perform righteous deeds. But the righteous deeds is not something where I can say on the Day of Judgment, God, I done this, now you give me this. But righteous deeds and a person trying to abstain from sins and making, commit, uh, seeking forgiveness and repentance, this is something which will bring about the mercy of God, of Allah. So a person will only enter paradise by mercy. But the mercy is brought about by a person striving to do good deeds. So we don't believe a person entitles himself no, no, to paradise not. by his righteousness, no, no, no. no. But at the same time, we still believe there's a law and there's a legislation to follow for our benefit. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah. John 1.1, 1, 1, we believe is made up. Okay. Jesus is free from this statement. And this is, this is Greek uh, philosophy. Yeah. 
that they believe the Greeks without revelation they believe that the God is so far and separate from his creation that he cannot create he cannot judge he cannot have a relationship with his creation there needs to be a intermediary which the Greeks call the logos the word and this word is a part of God which which uh, is an intermediary between man and God we, so we believe that the Christians, as the Jews were, accept, were affected by the Hellenistic period, when the Greeks ruled over them, yeah. the Jews were affected by this. Christianity is a mixture of the teachings of Jesus and Greek and Roman no, like mythology. Said, of course it is. Because such as God becoming a man, such as an intermediate between God and man, such as human sacrifice. Human we, sacrifice? Yeah. Ah. Jesus died on the cross as a human sacrifice. But we don't, but, but we don't do that. Now, that's what Christianity believes, that God so loved the world, yeah. He gave His God, only begotten okay, but, Son. But we don't do that again. No, but you don't God do that now, it. but you do believe it happens. No, definitely. But we that's believe no. Look at what you first. You, you mentioned... Um, let, let me just, let me just, let me just come to one point. And there was one more thing you mentioned. So one was about salvation, one was about John 1.1. 1, 1. But the fundamental thing is that God is one. He has no partners, He has no equals. So even the, the verse, like, I will give you the opportunity. John, the Gospel according to John, 20, verse 17. According to what the Bible teaches, we don't accept that Jesus was killed on the cross or died for the sins of mankind. We believe he was taken up and he will come down before the, the day of judgment. But according to the uh, Gospel according to John, Mary Magdalene tries to touch Jesus after the resurrection. And he says to her, do not touch me, because I have not ascended to the Father. But inform my brothers, my brethren, that I, that I must, I will ascend. I, I must go to my Father and your Father. My God and your God. So Jesus, who Christians say is God, is fully God and fully man. He's saying that he has a God. And his God is the same as our God. So we cannot accept the oneness of God and say that God has a God and we cannot accept the Trinity rather this is this belief hence the need and the necessity and the mercy of the Creator to send a messenger the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him to clarify the teachings of Jesus Moses and to call all mankind sorry there's one more point imagine. all of the previous messengers they were sent to a particular nation, a particular people. Yeah. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it mentions in Quran, chapter 7, verse 158, where he's commanded, Qul, ya yannas, inni rasulullahi ilaykum jami'an. He said, oh, well, he was commanded by Allah to say, oh mankind, I have been sent to you as a messenger to all of you. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said a hadith in uh, Sahih Muslim, a book of course, uh, authentic, collection by a scholar called Imam Muslim. He said that there is no one from amongst my nation, whether he's Jew, whether he's Christian, he hears of me and dies, not accepting that which I came with, except he'll be from the hellfire. That's uh, our message. But, so if, if you believe that Jesus will come down and take us up here. Yeah. No, I said he will come down, not take us up. We don't believe Jesus is going to come down okay, okay, as the okay, judge okay, of the okay, earth. Okay, so okay, you believe like that he rapture. just went to heaven, yeah? Yes. So if, if, if so, has, has any man done that before? Elijah, according to the Bible. Yeah, no, yeah, of course, yeah. So, but, so you asked the question I gave up. Does that make Elijah God? No, that's the same. Elijah did that. Well, yeah. It was stated that God took him up. It was stated that God took him up. Yeah, and God took Jesus up as well. No, not in the Bible. Huh? Not in the Bible. Then also, Concerning, like, you accepted that salvation is, is not by, is not by deeds, yeah? No, it's by the mercy of the Creator. Yeah. It's brought about by righteous yeah, deeds. Yeah, 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 definitely. That you walk towards that, yeah, yes. I get that. Then, you know, Jesus was the first person that mentioned that, that spoke about it, that salvation is not, is, is, is a gift from God. It's not, it's not by your righteous works or anything. No, all the messengers taught this. Jesus was the first person that mentioned it. Because the other people, they followed the law of Moses, which was... But the, pro the problem is, uh, without being disrespectful. No, 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 you're, no, no, you're, no, no, no. you're relying on the 66 books of the Bible or the 73 books of the Bible, according to which church you follow. Yeah. And these books themselves, they're generally written by unknown authors. 
and we do not have the originals and we do not know that they've been preserved. Like, for, for example, books of the Old Testament, the earliest copies we have, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls, you know, they're, they're writ scholars say they're written between 200 years before Jesus to 100 years. They're written in this 300 year period, okay. 200 years before Jesus, 100 years after Jesus. These are the earliest manuscripts of the books of the Old Testament. So the thing is, when you have books written by people, unknown people, they don't claim to be the word of God. This is an external belief. Yeah. And we don't have the original manuscripts. And then I'm going to say something. Yeah, according to the Quran, according to the Bible, the New Testament and the Old Testament, except for some righteous remnants amongst yeah. the children of Israel, Generally, the children of Israel were a, a very corrupt people. They killed messengers. Yeah. They worshipped other gods. Yeah. They <coughs> disobeyed the law of Moses. Yeah. They worshipped the calf in front of when Moses yeah, was amongst them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. They, these are a people which we cannot say that they're trustworthy to preserve the word of God, especially when they killed messengers. So when you rely on... But, but, but you accept they killed the messenger, but, but, but you're not accepting they killed Jesus. Well. No, because the Quran tells us. But my, my, my point being, my point being that we need a an authentic, a reliable foundation to build our beliefs on. So what we are saying, what we are claiming as yeah, Muslims, yeah, yeah, is sure. the Bible. Even though we believe in the books given to the messengers. The Bible may contain some aspects, some truth from that, yeah. but at the same time, it is a corrupted text. Whereas the Quran is the last uh, word of God, the last revelation sent down to mankind and is being preserved. So the Quran says, uh, the Quran says that the Quran is Muhammad Ali. The Quran is a is a judge over the previous books. So, for example, if the previous books say that. Uh, Moses took the children of Israel out of uh, slavery under Pharaoh, took them out of Egypt and were to take them to the promised land. They did not enter the promised land. This is in the Bible. As Muslims, we accept it because the Quran affirms it. That's why we accept it. When the, the Bible says that Jesus died on the cross for the sins of mankind, as Muslims, we reject it. Because the Quran, it clearly mentions that they did not kill him, they did not crucify him, but rather it appeared so to them. So the Quran is very explicit that Jesus was not, did not die on the cross. Also, when Jesus comes back again, we, the, according to the authentic hadith, the narration from the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he will have five main roles from the Mr. Kill the Antichrist. From them is to break the cross, to let people know. Because why Jesus? Why, of all the messengers, why Jesus is the one who's going to return? Because he is the most misunderstood. You have one group of people who said that he was a false prophet. He was the son of a, a woman who had a child out of wedlock, which in those times is not is, is more weighty yeah, than in yeah, this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So to make these accusations about Jesus, that he's a false prophet, he's a liar, He's the son of a harlot. You know, this is a, a yeah. great slander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you had those people who said that Jesus is a messenger sent by God, calling people to worship one God. And you had those people who said, no, Jesus is God. Therefore, Jesus himself will return and he will clarify that he followed the law, that he did not die for the sins of mankind, that he was not God. He will kill the Antichrist and he will follow Islam. He will follow the religion set by, by, by all the messengers and he will follow the teachings brought by the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad That's how he, he will return and that's what he will return for. This is in, if you read from the Quran, uh, chapter 4, from around uh, verse 150 down to around 160, it, it covers all of this. The necessity of believing in all messengers. As a Muslim, we can't believe in some messengers and reject others. Whoever believes in one messenger is he disbelieves. So, if in the time of uh, Moses, someone has to believe in Moses. But when Jesus comes, he cannot say, I just believe in Moses, I'm going to follow what Moses wrote. No, you have to accept Jesus. 
The same way in the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, someone has to accept him. Then the, uh, from chapter 4, from 150 down, it talks about the covenant made between God and the children of Israel. Then it mentions their disobedience and their breaking of the covenant. Part of the covenant was to accept all the messengers, to worship God alone, to observe the Sabbath, to enter into the holy, holy land in a, in a state of submission. And then it mentions what they done. What they done in return was they killed messengers, they rejected messengers, they disobeyed the law, etc. And this is well known from the Bible, from the Quran, from history. Then it mentions about their claim against uh, the Quran, it clears them against their claim against Maryam, the Buhtan al Adim. Because she was uh, the virgin, she wasn't touched by man, and so the Quran clears her. But then it mentions, as I mentioned, they did not kill him, they did not crucify him. Because the, the belief of the Christi uh, Christians is well known. Christianity teaches that Jesus died on the cross, he was crucified for the sins of mankind. The Quran says, it completely rejects this. But before this it says they did not kill him. Because the Jews, if you read the Talmud, the Jews believe Jesus was killed for being an idol worshipper and practicing magic and leading astray the children of Israel. They say that we killed him. After we killed him, after he was dead, we hung his body up as a warning. But this is, this is according to the Old Testament, what you do to an apostate. So the Quran, it, it frees all of this. That they did not uh, kill him and they did not crucify him. So it, it, it rejects both of them. So my point being is, the Quran, it gives you the clear truth of what all the messengers gave. It shows you where the previous t teachings were changed or corrupted, such as saying the Trinity, such as saying God died for the sins of mankind, such as saying that only the children of Israel can be saved. So this is, the, this is what we base uh, our belief on. This is what we understand to be the truth, the preserved word of God, the Quran. Thanks so much. Yeah. No problem. Sir, can I give you something to read, to take with you? Sure, sure. Go ahead. I'm not speaking in that situation. Uh, yeah, so this is Quran and some leaflets on Islam. But, see the thing is, what we discussed about now, the, the uh, last thing, I know I, I know, I talk a lot, <laughs> and I know you, I know everyone in London is busy. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, peace be upon him, he said, Al-Quran, Fudjatan alak or alayk. He said the Quran is a proof for you or against you. So this discussion we had today, it's, it's a nice discussion, it's a polite discussion. It's nice for different people to understand each other. But on the day of judgment, yeah, definitely. We'll, it, we'll, we'll find out we are accountable. Yeah, definitely. And if what I say is true, definitely. and you don't accept it, I'll be held accountable. Hell fine. Well, if, if what I say is true, I'll yes. be accountable. Yes. Yes, so so I, I would ask you, not just to take, oh, I had a nice talk no, 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 and go. Research, look into it. Definitely. We're here every Saturday if you have any more questions. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Take care. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa alhamdulillah. I see your YouTube muscle like, like wow. Well, I need to see you. I work here now, so <laughs> nah, Just to bring you up to date, he was yeah. speaking to a Christian, and the Christian's coming up with his personal experiences, mm. and he wants yeah. to know as a family.